printed oligonucleotide chips or simply oligonucleotide chips. It is the second type of DNA microarray uh, that also have been developed uh, from the spotted DNA array technology. The basic difference is that here the DNA fragments of the known sequences, here they are not spotted, rather they are synthesized on the surface of the glass slide. So uh, this is the basic difference that here the synthesis of the fragments to be immobilized, uh, it is on the glass chip. Uh, so, because of this reason, it may also be called as uh, uh, in situ synthesis for the oligonucleotides. In this case, the DNA that is having the known sequences, they are mainly used. And those known sequences, they can be obtained from different databases. Case may जो DNA के sequences हैं या जो हम genes जो हम investigate करना चाह रहे हैं तो उनके sequences known होने चाहिए तो इसके लिए हम different databases से help लेते हैं कि different genes के क्या क्या sequences हैं और फिर हम उनको यहाँ पे synthesize करवाते हैं तो यहाँ जरूरी नहीं है कि पूरे के पूरे gene का sequence जो है वो synthesize करवाया जाए it may be from uh, around 25 base pair to 70 base pair uh, ye sequences ho sakte hain that will hybridize with the messenger RNA population from uh, different sources to hum messenger RNA ko extract karate hain to phir uh, ye, ye short stretch hote hain nucleotide ke ye iske saath hybridize uh, karte hain to phir fluorescent dyes ki madad se ya fluorophore ki madad se phir hum iski uh, detection kar lete hain now, what is the basic protocol for the development of uh, oligonucleotide uh, uh, chips? Just uh, I have told that synthesis is on the surface. And after the basic protocol, we try to understand it from the diagram. We have a public database. There are many databases that are online available. So, we do the oligonucleotide synthesis on the solid spot that is a glass slides aur isme hum ek jo da gene hai uske hum 20 non overlapping jo segment hai unki synthesis karwa sakte hain so 20 non overlapping genes they may be represented on a sing on different spots so here the synthesis it can be carried out on the solar surface so this is the basic principle of gene manufacturing and then in the next step, we may analyze two RNA populations. That is RNA population 1 and RNA population 2. And these two populations, they can be labeled with uh, biotin. And then later on, they can be detected after hybridization. So, labeled RNA populations, they will be hybridized on the solar surfaces that contain already synthesized segments of the genes. Now, after hybridization, we can perform the washing of the membranes uh, here in this step. So, hybridization is there, washing step, and then stain scanning we can perform. And then we can get the uh, images that belong to RNA1 population and second image from the RNA2 population. And then these images can be combined with the help of software. And then we can analyze that uh, which genes that belong to X category suppose uh, from RNA1 population or from RNA2 population and Z that uh, are expressing constantly uh, in both samples. So this is the overall principle of chip hybridization. So basic difference is that uh, here we mainly used uh, synthetic uh, DNA fragments whereas in case uh, of spotted DNA microarrays, we can fragment the DNA and then it can be immobilized on the chips. But the sensitivity of both of the technique, it is more or less same.